You know what I hate about the modern woke? Is that they have this fetish of criticizing capitalism. And that would be fine if the critique would actually be accurate, if they would actually read Adam Smith and then make accurate critiques of capitalism. But no, apparently capitalism is when you have rich people, of course, they also have to be cisgender and white, like heteronormative. They're probably like the Democratic Party, you know, they're Joe Bidens. And they're sitting in a room smoking cigars and talking about the end of the world. It's interesting because you actually have lol cows today on the World Economic Forum. You got like the Klaus Schwab who's talking about eating the bugs and sleeping in the pod and not uh, circulating and, and taking away people's private transport. Like they could make fun of that. But no, like that's not funny, right? Like we, we do not make fun of that in entertainment. Uh, you got the U.S. president right now, which is old and he's a gaff machine. And every single time the reporters ask him a question, his back is turned. But no, like, the Democrats are above the comedy. You, you cannot make fun of what is sacred, right? You can only make fun of the manga people. Um, and, and again, like, the thing is, like, okay, fine. First of all, they don't even know that America is not a capitalist nation. Like, they're that uneducated, and they do not know that the U.S. is officially a mixed economy. But for some reason, like, they, they have to reduce it, this caricature. And yes, this is Mr. House <clears throat> from Fallout New Vegas. Gotta reduce it to this caricature in order to criticize, like, oh, look how comic book evil he is. It's like the show is made for children, I swear to God. Like, they gotta dumb it down and reduce it to the point where, oh, yeah, like, uh, Mr. House, very bad, very bad, capitalist man, bad. And, and I wonder if this is, like, what they think of their audience, like, their audience are that stupid that they can't actually make a real critique of capitalism, or... The writers themselves are this stupid. Like, this this is literally what they know. So that's why they're going to write. Um, I also noticed that there's a lot of bots involved. Like, I, I understand that Amazon desperately needs this W. Like, they desperately need the win with Fallout. But really, 94% positive ratings. Like you're telling me this is a must-see show. This is a show that we're going to watch 10 years from now. Like, like Stargate. Or like Star Trek, you know, like these are shows that would get close to a 10. But when it comes to this, I, I, I can see it being a 6 or a 7. I mean, if you can stomach all of the American woke nonsense that's being poured into it, sure, you, you, you can enjoy it to the point where you're not bored to tears like some of the other shows, like uh, the Briggs of Power Plus Privilege. Or like the latest seasons of The Witcher. So, so this one would be a little bit better. But I, I wouldn't give it more than a 6 or a 7. And there's a lot of bots involved, right? And all of a sudden when there's bots involved that are pumping up the numbers. When, when they're giving positive reviews. Crickets. They don't even have a word for this, right? Like if you have customers that are giving negative feedback. They call it review bombing. Like how, how dare you speak against the sacred corporation. But when they have bots that are giving positive reviews to this that's fine they don't even have a word as i mentioned and what what was the most bizarre thing is that when i got into a controversy with another content creator i got bots in the fucking chat i got bots on twitter <clears throat> and, and by the way i think like this is the, the reason for this happening is that whomever prompted them gave them the wrong prompt so the bots were like posting one after another with the same talking points literally the same stuff it, it, it's very creepy and bizarre. And I'm not the only YouTuber that notices. Like, here you have another YouTuber, another content creator, Synthetic Man. And he says that if you're a fellow noticer, yeah, he's talking about me, because I noticed it too. You may have uh, noticed that the Fallout review is getting brigaded by shills and leftist ideologues. This is nothing new to this channel, but I have decided to do something I've resisted for four years. I'm going to start banning people. This is no doubt uh, highly controversial, especially since I believe in free speech, but hear me out. Um, he basically points out how review aggregate sites like Metacritic and IMD now censor negative user reviews. So this is why the score is so high. Uh, and Reddit bans people for uh, breaking arbitrary rules to silence minority opinion, and he could go on. But in the case of Fallout, he notices that uh, there are... A lot of people who are not organic in the thousands in the comment section, either insulting me and my audience 
or responding to the video with the exact same copy-pasted points, even points I never mentioned, which proves that they don't even watch the video. So I made a pinned comment with a simple request. Answer one of three questions in your reply to prove you're not a bot or get blocked and banned. To no surprise, dozens of people just ignored the post that insulted me, so I banned them. I had one debate with a German guy that was good faith, and uh, that was pretty much it. I noticed this on Twitter as well. It's like again, it's not just the 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 other bots that came up, but like literally the exact same talking points. It's like it's, you get like twenty people that are sitting in the room and they're discussing literally the same points, and, and then they're coming up. And it's so inorganic. And, and when you try to interact with them, when you try to communicate with them, they ignore your arguments as if you're not there and they're just insulting you. So, yeah, no, I, I, I legitimately think that there's a lot of bots involved in this, a lot more than usual. Um, and, and I can say that maybe it's due to, you know, the rise of programs like ChatGPT, which, you know, now they can actually prompt bots more easy so that they pretend they're like real people. Uh, either that or Amazon, again, I, I genuinely believe that they're very desperate in order to make this show work because they had a lot of failures lately and they lost a lot of money and the economy is already going poor. So they really need this W. And again, yeah, like like the bots are incredibly toxic, incredibly aggressive, like outright just insulting the creator, ignoring all the points that you make. Um, and, and I see like them igno uh, attacking my subscribers as well. And, uh, you know, there have been movies in the past, and there have been TV shows in the past, but, like, you, you do not get to see this aggressive, toxic community. And, of course, it's very difficult to differentiate, like, who is a bot and who is a genuine critic, so I'm not going to start banning and blocking people. Um, but I just wanted to, to let you guys know that it is happening. I have seen it. And, and again, when you see different individuals with literally the same copy-paste message... Um, either like they're operating from a call center somewhere or more likely they're just bots. And uh, yeah, I noticed that a lot of people aren't reading this, right? That they're just a tactic a synthetic man. So like they're not reading the fact that he posted in the comment section like, hey, answer to me three questions or you get banned. And they, they just ignore that and then they get banned anyway. Which goes to show like, okay, well, if they're not going to read, if they're not going to engage... Even if they weren't bots, then they're not in good faith. Like, what, what, why would you interact with someone on the internet while completely ignoring what they say and just insulting them? At that point, you're a troll, at best, a bot at worst. And yeah, I, I, I do think like the second version is uh, more possible. But this disgusts me. The, 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 like again, this disgusts me so hard of the Amazon product or of the whole Fallout stuff. Like I don't even want to watch it. Like even if it was free, I wouldn't want to watch it. I'm, I'm I'm so happy that I don't have an Amazon account to stream it and see it. I, I do not like these business practices. I do not like these tactics. Why why the fuck can't they just make a good show that pleases everyone? Like, you, you know you're incapable of adapting an actual IP, so just make something new. Like, if this was just any other show that takes place in the apocalypse, where people survive, and, and you can't even make, like, a Fallout spinoff, that, that, then people will say, oh, well, this, this kind of looks like Fallout, this is kind of cool. And then you're not restricted by all of the lore and all of the stuff that the IP has. I mean, anime does this all the time, you know, like, you, you get, like, a, an isekai, and it's so good that then another anime studio goes, like, hey, let's make an isekai as well. They don't take the brand, they don't take the IP, they just make something different. Like, there's Attack on Titan, right? So you have, like, the walls and then the giants and shit. But then you have, like, another anime which uh, takes place in a train, and there's zombies, and, and the humanity is driving from station to station inside the train, they have references to Attack on Titan, because like when they go into a city, they're surrounded by walls, but they don't have the IP, they don't have the brand, so they can literally do whatever the fuck they want. They're not constrained by the lore, because obviously like these people do not care by the, of the lore, so like wh why even bother? Anyway, I ranted enough. Yeah, uh, long story short, there's bots. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.